What's up guys? Um, I'm on my way to pick up a used hedge trimmer and it's only 45 bucks guys. It's only worth 200 new. So I'm getting it for like a quarter of the price, whatever. It's like nothing special guys. Definitely not commercial use, but once I get it, I will fill you in the story of why I'm getting this one and not the full combi set up yet. So stay tuned guys. All right guys. There she is for 45 bucks. 22 inch. Not bad, guys. It's 22 is about medium. I think 24 is like the max they usually go to. Anyway, that was for 45. I got this 17 foot articulating ladder, one of those ones that go in four different positions. 150 bucks, guys. All right. So anyway, um, get to the main point of this video, guys. Uh, I'm doing a $400 trim job on trimming some hedges and as much as I like to get new equipment guys um, if if it's worth investing in like a chainsaw even chainsaws I'll get used if they look good enough and you know I'm not too worried about you know making a gamble on it if it, if it seems like it's gonna be a good deal uh, I actually just got a $400 saw for 130 bucks the other day, guys, a steal, so. Uh, anyway, the whole point of this is not to over-invest and jump the gun, because, so that's a $400 contract, guys. Yes, I do want to get into shrub trimming, but I wanted to buy the tools for itself right off the bat. Um, I don't want to get over-committed and over-invested in it. I was pricing out just to get a basic hedge trimmer like this one guys but a husky or a steel um that would have cost me around 400 bucks to for kind of entry level nothing special and that's not even a ladder guys so with this ladder this ladder i just went and priced out um it's 250 bucks so i saved 100 dollars on the ladder plus tax um it was a 200 dollars trimmer so i see i got 150 off on that guys so for, I'm in $195 and now I got a wicked 17 foot articulating ladder. Um, I got a hedge trimmer guys and I'm not even $200 deep on a $400 contract. And now I'm gonna get to the whole point of that. Um, I really wanna get the combi system cause then I can have the extensions, um, I can have a pole pruner and you know the hedge, I can have the hedge attachment. Um, blower all sorts of attachment guys and I will invest in that thing is it's early in the season I didn't want to go drop 12 to sixteen hundred dollars on this system um, when I'm only guaranteed 400 back right away guys um, yeah I will make it in the future but right now return fast return make the money see the money now so you can reinvest it into things where it needs to be put right so anyway um, I didn't want to take a fourteen to sixteen hundred dollar investment this early in the season, um, and because I wouldn't consider any of my tree jobs paying that investment off, I would only consider that investment paid off by hedge trimming jobs, guys. One sec, I'm going through construction here. All right. So anyway, um, basically, what I figured out of this, guys, my approach at it, I was like, well, I can. I want the combi system. I don't want to spend $1,600 on it. And I got a $400 contract that I want to make money on, but I still want to make that initial investment to get into hedge trimming. So I could have went out and spent four or 450 bucks, which would have been in my whole contract on a, just a new basic hedge trimmer, guys. And that contract would have paid for it but that's all I would have got out of it. I would have been stuck with the hedge trimmer and you know, out 50 bucks on that contract maybe even. And yeah, who knows when the return would come back on that. Whereas, and I don't want to be stuck with that $400 hedge trimmer. You know what I mean? It's got one purpose to serve. Whereas 45 bucks, I don't mind dropping 45 bucks on a one purpose tool guys. So basically what I figured I can get a ladder, which I'm going to need to do hedges even if I get the combi system with extensions guys and that so I'm in $200 now I can go start hitting hedges 
I don't have to buy a $450 tool that I don't want to have down the road. I don't need it. I'm not going to be trimming small shrubs. I get it. They are convenient for their purpose of doing like small shrubs, guys, but that's not what I'm into. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to half of my contract's going to pay for this ladder and this tool. And you know, it'll, I'll probably be able to run it for a few smaller contracts and you know, run it, run it till it dies, guys. I'll let my guys work it on the smaller jobs. But now I'm not stuck with a $450 tool. I wouldn't have been able to get that ladder within that contract price. I would have had to buy it outside of contract, which means I would already be going in the hole on this one. So I stayed out of the hole, guys. I'm gonna make 200 bucks on that contract. I didn't have to go buy a tool I didn't want. I actually gained an extra tool and saved half the money. So basically, don't jump the gun and go buy something for one job, guys. Make sure it's gonna pay for itself soon and at least over time, right? Well, like soon, near future time. And uh, don't go buy a tool you don't need to get one job complete. Like, I don't plan on doing tons and tons of hedges right away, guys. That's why I didn't want to go spend 450 bucks on a hedge trimmer that I'm hardly going to use. So, you know, get a used one. Get that get that done. Bang it off. Um, it'll pay for your used one. Even if you need to sell that used one when you upgrade or keep it for the guys to beat up. Whatever, right? And, yeah, now I can take this ladder. I can take this thing with my $200 profit that I'm gonna make now. And I can go bang off some hedge jobs until you know I make about 1400 bucks off hedges. And then I'll go buy that combi system, guys. So basically, don't jump in too fast on tools and investments. Really weigh out your pros and cons, guys. I spent about three days really thinking about how to go about this, whether it was, you know, whether I wanted to waste that 450 on a tool I know I'm not gonna use a lot and it really would just cost me more down the road or whether I should just go used, get it cheap, something that'll work, something that'll get through that contract. It's not gonna hurt, you know, 45 bucks is not gonna hurt the bank. Um, I'm pretty, it's a $200 tool. I'm pretty well guaranteed to get my 45 bucks out of it, even if I have to sell it. So don't over invest guys. Um, I was really quick to want to jump the gun and just go get the nicest tool out there. We all want to have nice shit, guys. Uh, it makes the job easier, I get that, but I would have been stuck with the mid saw. I don't want that. I, I can deal with the small one to get to the big one, but I don't want to buy one between the two to hold me over. It's just a waste of 450 bucks. I'd rather do this route, get the cheap saw, guys, or the cheap trimmer, build up to that big one that you actually want is your end goal and um yeah bang off some jobs with that cheap shit guys use tools there's nothing wrong with them um obviously you won't want the cadillac of every saw and the cadillac but um you got to build your way up there you can't just jump into it and over invest or uh you're never gonna profit guys and you're gonna end up having to take out loans or be broke just don't do it uh, make your company increase on its own guys make your company work for you and Make your investments count so that you're gaining profit and uh, you're not gonna ever need that. You'll constantly be growing. I just acquired two new tools and I'm still gonna profit 50%. So, not bad guys. Literally 50% of my margin is gonna be a new tool acquisitions. You know, a little bit of fuel. This is a pretty small job, guys. It'll take me about three hours for, and it's a $200 job. Not the highest profit, guys, but um, or sorry, $400 job. So I'll make a little over 100 an hour on it. But um, yeah, I hope you guys got something out of this. Um, hope I didn't just recycle the same topic over and over for too long. I hope I got the point across as quick as possible. But basically, guys, don't jump the gun and over invest in new tools is what I'm saying. If, uh, another example, um, you know, this pole pruner, right? Um, I, I really thought of that. I was like, it was a hundred bucks for it, guys. Um, I did it on a $126 contract, so I really probably broke even on that contract, but um, this thing saved me a lot of money since then. It's made me a lot, guys. And when I bought this, I originally wanted to go and spend 900 bucks on you know, a telescopic, 
gas powered pull pruner, you know, which would have been deadly. It would have killed the job. I would have been done it in two minutes, but um, I would be minus 800 bucks on that contract, guys. Whereas I've got this, I broke even, paid for itself on that one hour job. Um, this thing's now made me a couple hundred dollars since I've bought that. And you know, once I use it a few more times, and it saves me a couple climbs, guys, and I'm not getting in the tree, I'm using this, um, and I get that $900 mark, I will go and I'll buy that pruner. Well, no, actually, now I'm getting the combi system. So between what I profit off this and what I profit off of the hedge trimmer and the ladder, guys, the combined profits off those three tools, I'll be investing those into the combi system. But um, see what I'm saying now, guys? Like, you want to jump the gun. You want to go get the combi system for the hedge trimming. You want to go get that telescopic pull pruner, right? It's going to kick ass. But um, now you're, you're, you're just digging deeper into money you haven't made yet. Get the shit that will get the job done and save you money and keep your margins up. And uh, make, make them earn you money. Make these cheap tools earn you the money. And then that combi system buys itself, guys. You don't want to have to go jump into an investment you haven't even earned on yet. Make your small investment. I would rather invest $100 on a tool I haven't made money on yet. Or invest 50 bucks, or you know, 150 on a ladder, not 300 or 250. Whole point is, guys, don't over invest. Make sure your contract covers your tools at the very least. And um, once you get those, make your margins go up increase your profits off those tools and then you can upgrade all right like don't jump in guys uh we all like i said we all want the best shit and we all want it right away but you gotta be smart you gotta really think it out guys don't just jump the gun um anyway that's gonna be it for this video is guys just basically where i just want to talk about where to invest how to how to think about it right um you know weigh out the pros and cons make sure it's going to make you money right away you don't want to buy a 900 dollar thing you know i would and it was a 126 dollar job if i bought that 900 dollar saw and i didn't end up using it for you know six weeks now i just my margins are down 800 dollars for the next six weeks when i could have got the hundred dollar pruner broke even and i would have just owned owned it outright because uh yeah until my job until my contracts pay for the equipment which i factor into my quoting prices and all that guys i consider it a debt to my my company bank right um obviously it's purchased with cash it's purchased with money already made but until my contracts have actually made and earned back the money i invested into that tool i consider it a loan off myself so you think of it that way it'll help you too because you don't want to take out a bunch of loans from yourself right you want to buy shit cash so if you got a $900 contract and you can get a $700 tool well there you go that contract just bought that tool for you guys um, but then you look at it the other way you do a $126 contract and you buy a $900 tool now you're in the whole 800 so I'm not gonna beat her on or beat this one up too much guys i feel like i've covered it all there's not too much more i could go on about this um that's it i hope you guys get something and put a little extra thought into where you're putting your investments and think do you really need that cadillac of the tool do you need that best 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 one we all do i know that i'm not saying don't get the best one I'm saying do you need it for that specific job though that was my that's what i had to really think of and I came to the conclusion, no, I don't. I really I really don't need a $450 hedge trimmer to do a $400 hedge job. Um, I just, that was my conclusion, guys. I weighed out the pros and cons. Make sure you guys do that every time. Every time you go to make a big purchase on tools and equipment, really weigh out the pros and cons. Can you go without it? Do you need this one? And will your contract cover it? And if your contract won't cover it, how long do you think it's gonna to take to get it covered through contracts? And um, keep thinking like that, guys. You'll keep acquiring stuff and it will keep paying for itself. It's not gonna be costing you money and burdening you and making you overinvest on something you won't get a return on for you know six months to a year. You want return within, you know, I don't even wanna put a date. You want return ASAP, like return, 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 right? That's 
that's what business is about guys investing and pulling back and um, you want to be able to pull back your profits as fast as possible so don't over invest all right i'll see you guys next video i hope this helps i forgot to say in my last video guys um i'm currently unmonetized on youtube if you support my channel i need a thousand subs um if you get help help me back uh send it both ways guys uh, i help you you help me uh that's the business community right uh anyway i need a thousand subs guys to remonetize my channel i'm only at like four something right now so hit that subscribe button i'll keep sending you guys tips and videos i'm gonna do some walkthrough on site quotes for you guys um we'll get some good content up here um i'll show you guys how to approach reviews all sorts of stuff guys i got tons of good information hit that subscribe button help me out to help you guys out um obviously it's a lot more motivating to get on here if i'm getting something back out of it but um i'm gonna keep putting it up for you guys anyway but good luck and keep pushing guys um never give up set your goals high don't ever set limits because you shouldn't have limits only goals all right i'll see you in the next video